Uh, my name is Peter McCullough. I'm an internist and cardiologist from Detroit, Michigan. And my central uh, clinical and research interest is chronic kidney disease as it relates to heart disease. Uh, my task is to outline the merits of screening for chronic kidney disease, both in primary and specialty care. We have a longstanding experience uh, through the National Kidney Foundation Kidney Early Evaluation Program, known as KEEP, uh, over the last 12 years, which has screened over 180,000 individuals in the community. And what we've learned is that of those individuals who have hypertension, diabetes, or a family history of kidney disease, of that population, roughly 25% will be confirmed as having chronic kidney disease themselves, manifest by an estimated GFR less than 60, or a urine albumin and creatinine ratio greater than 30 milligrams per gram. Of that 25% that's discovered to have CKD, it is a new understanding or a new diagnosis, new revelation for that individual in 80% of cases. Fortunately, those with more severe levels of CKD, those with cardiovascular disease and diabetes, it's less of a surprise. That is, they knew about it from their primary care physicians or specialty physicians as part of their routine care. But the point is, the yield of screening for CKD is high. Unawareness is high, and our ability to actually begin to tune patients and their providers into the presence of chronic kidney disease opens up incredible opportunities for improvement of care, including adjustment of medications for optimal kidney outcomes, avoidance of medication errors, avoidance of uh, additional insults uh, to the kidney, including non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agents, uh, use of iodinated contrast, uh, et cetera. And very importantly, what screening does, particularly in patients who are discovered to have relatively severe CKD, is that it improves the readiness and acceptance for renal replacement therapies. And in our view, helps lessen uh, some of the complications, which really come about as a surprise to individuals if they're rapidly progressing uh, to e ESRD. So in summary, the, the merits of a screening for CKD evolve that uh, it is a disease that is screenable, that we have a platform uh, that we've demonstrated over 10 years works. Uh, we are working now to make it scalable up to the level of uh, millions of individuals. It's largely automatically done as part of routine care in primary care as patients get baseline laboratories every year, and that we have actionable results that can favorably influence outcomes.